Mike. You can tell him. Shrimp <laughs> four on the way, man. <laughs> uh oh, he said it. He said it. I go by the name of Moy Barn, the best to ever do it. Welcome to the frequency. I got a very special guest. He goes by the name of Sway Lee. Grammy nominated and diamond selling recording artist and my brother. I hope you're tapped into the frequency, but if you're not, it's going down tonight. Now you see me, now you don't. Wait, Ooh, love, love, love. What's going on, Brody? Big cool. All good, man. Appreciate you for coming out, tapping man. into the frequency. It's nothing. It's only right. It's nothing, man. I had oh, a slot on my guy. You know I know, but for those who don't know, everybody out there watching, tell us a little bit about where you're from. Uh, man, I'm from. I was born in Inglewood, type shit, LA, type shit. Okay. But when I was like young, I moved to Mississippi, so. Mm. Most of my upbringing was like down south of Mississippi type shit. Tupelo, Mississippi, same city Elvis from. Oh, wow. Real, Real country, like family living, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Slow motion. Very but, family oriented. Yeah. Growing up in Mississippi, what are some of the hip hop albums you grew up listening to? Hip hop, man, a lot of Lil Wayne. Like, Ooh. I really got in Lil Ooh, Wayne. Like, easy. You know what I'm For real, I used to be on the bus, like, <laughs> listen to Lil Wayne, like, 3 P. Like, it was, I ain't gonna lie, I used to listen to nigga Soldier Boy, like, Oh yeah, yeah a lot soldier. of shit. Like a lot of it was a lot of little influence where I was at in the Bible Belt. Um, my mama used to really like walk around the house like playing all like old school hip hop. Mm, old like, school hip hop. You know, it's KRS One, like all that type stuff. Like she real old school with it. But yeah, so I just got I got introduced to like a lot of different types of music real early. During them times, I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't know what the fuck I'm listening to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just hear someone like playing like you just like this sound beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like, I ain't had internet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no way to look it up. So it's like, yeah. what was that? Like you know what I'm saying? I'm on the radio or whatever. Like I just hear something like that. I wouldn't know how to access it without like, mm. like that right there. Like, but yeah, like oh, that's dope. That's a lot of Prince too. Like my mom played a lot of Prince, Michael Jackson mm, type shit. Prince, okay. Yeah, yeah like. I like that name, Michael Jackson. A yeah, lot. Michael had that soul. Yeah, he was a rock star. <laughs> That's where the rock star come from? For sure. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Stepping out of, the, out of the normal, you know what I'm saying? Just not just conforming with everything going on, like hip hop necessarily, just be doing one genre. Mm. I love hip hop, though. That's my shit. Like, mm. I ain't even gonna bash hip hop. I ain't one of them type guys. But yeah. It's like, I knew I could do more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't wanna just do one thing and just be put in one type of, like, put a label on myself. Like, mm. like I knew my voice could do more. Like, Hella other shit, so yeah, I played around with like a lot of different styles of music. So, what would you say that uh, got you into being an artist? I just love the fact, like, it felt like people were just enjoying it, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, even mm. in school, like, me and my brother, we used to go to school before class, we rapping, you know what I'm saying? Mm. We got a little crowd, like Eminem, like Eight Mile, we what got a whole cypher this? going on. It's like 9th, 10th grade, 11th mm, grade. Mm, mm. We got the whole school around us, you know what I'm saying? Roasting niggas, like rapping, it, like just freestyling it right before class, you know what I'm saying? Like start off the day like that. So it's like, that was like my early introduction and just like rapping in front of people and just like breaking the ice on being like comfortable and like doing my thing with people watching in like large crowds and shit. So mm. it's like, I don't know, it was just natural to me. I love that feeling like, mm. And it was like just being creative, you know what I'm saying, and being witty. Just, yeah, like entertaining, basically. Entertaining. I just like to entertain, like, not even on the like tension type. Too. It's just like, that's what, that was natural for me. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I just always brought that vibe. Like, energy, I'm trying to uplift frequency. people, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To make people happy. Like, I want to see people having a good time, like, mm. all that type of shit. So that was me, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. For sure. That's dope. That's Cutting dope. through. So yeah, it seemed like you, like you said you was into the production and everything. What was your yeah. favorite instrument, and why? I know I I, I seen that the, the house is a condo is amazing. We got the guitars set up. I yeah, love, I fell in the love with the guitars because yeah. of you. In fact, you got to sign that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Get your ass to market next time. Yeah. Sign that for me. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got to say guitar. Like, and I ain't even that's that's the thought answer, but like mm. definitely the guitar. Like. Cause when you get on the stage, it's just electrifying. Like you, mm. just, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta like be focused, sliding, hitting all them notes, like and it's just like it bring that energy, like you might slam that motherfucker, mm. turn up the whole crowd, it's just like the whole culture of the guitar and like yeah, you can literally hit every notes, you can mimic what somebody's singing with the guitar, like mm. it's just like yeah, it's a classic instrument. You got the stamp, like 
I fuck with the guitar. The electric guitar. guitar for sure, for sure. Sorry. If it's not that, I say the piano. Mmm, the piano. Yeah, the grand piano for sure, for sure. Mm. The chords. That's those melodies on the piano. Bring a tear to your eye, you know what I'm mm. saying? Make a motherfucker break down, like yep. playing that motherfucker. So when do you make your first song? I made my first song. Man, I was like 11, 12, 13 type shit, like mm. with a trash mic, like 13 years old. For sure, Logitech yeah. mic, like you know what I'm saying. Not even for recording, it's just mm. for something else. I don't know what it's for, <laughs> but I know you can plug that USB in and figure something out with the studio mm. and figure out the inputs and shit and like make it record. So you know, save that bitch up, save all my little money up, got all my equipment and just like made a little song. I, I think it was called Party Animal. Party Animal, bitch. Mm. <laughs> I'm in the city turnt though. I'm Party Animal, we at the skating rink. We really living a lifestyle. Like, <laughs> pop up Party Animal, like everybody in the city know it. Put that on YouTube, what the hell, had 7,000 views. 7,000. Proud of the 7,000, proud of that. Like, yeah, that was a real 7,000 back then. That was it is. <laughs> Come on, man, they know what's going on. Like, But yeah, Party Animal, man, that was the energy. Mm, that's dope, that's dope. For so your writing style, Let's. How, how did that evolve over time? You said you've been making music since 13, you know, now, years later, you know, yeah. how has that evolved? It's just like, I just, now I just turn the beat. I just let it flow. Mm, mm. It's like, the the beat, the instruments is gonna bring the words out of me. Like, I don't, the words are in my head and shit. Like, mm. it's just like, bro, this shit like on some fucking crazy shit. Like, I hear the beat, it just like, Sway, say this, this, and this, and this, and this. With this melody, it's like, and it's gonna go. Like, it's, yeah. if it catch that pocket and that rhythm I'm looking for, and then, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you wanna like, do my little two step, whatever. Like, yeah. I know I got something. Like, you gotta be able to move with it. Yeah, gotta so be if able it ain't like catching it, it just, yeah, it just gotta, it's gotta bounce. It gotta have that bounce. If not, I'm just keep, you know what I'm saying, going back in till I get something I'm happy with. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like just, you know what I'm saying, bring out the right vibe. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I be up like, man, my schedule is so crazy right now. Like, I try to hit the studio like eight or nine. Like, it never really play out that way though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like eight or nine <laughs> always ends up being like 12 or something. <laughs> and then I'm end up like probably staying like from 12, like no less than like 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 6 a.m., 7 a.m. type shit. I'm trying to really, you know what I'm saying, get a good session. I get everything in my brain out. Mm, mm. And then, you know what I'm saying, that, that really throw me off though. Like the next day, you know what I'm saying, hopefully you ain't gotta do nothing, but you might wake up, like sleep all day, wake up at five, try to get that eight, boom. Mm, mm. It's, yeah, it's like a repeat or something, but I like, to, I like to record at night because I feel like it bring out like, you're supposed to be sleeping and shit. So yeah. my mind is like releasing them dream juices. Like, That's you know the frequency yeah, hours right sure, there. For sure, for sure, like <laughs> imagine this shit. So it's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like that's the best time to record. Mm. But don't get me wrong though, like, cause you got the most energy like early in the day, like when you right. first wake up. So yeah. that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's good too. Like, but the, I should try that more. The frequency hours might be the magical ones. Yeah, I like them late night <laughs> hours, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm nocturnal with this shit. Like late night shit, for sure, for sure. Got everything out the way, the whole world sleep. You know what I'm saying? You up, activated, just cooking, mm. making magic. Dope, dope, dope. Sure. So yeah, but I definitely, you know, been to a few of your sessions and I ain't gonna oh, lie, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was inspired. <laughs> well, like I this. seen you recording yourself. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. You know, what What? what are the some of the benefits of being able to record yourself while you create? Um, Some of the benefits, not only is it like you saving time because you ain't got to tell somebody, hey, chop that up and slide it two bars to the left and turn it down two decibels. First of all, you wasting time. You might have a, you might have a thought on your head, like the next bar on your head. You are trying to get that shit off. Yeah. So if you just do it yourself real quick, you are not gonna forget the bar. Mm. Mm. Keep going. You know I say right in that. Keep going. Smooth. You ain't gotta. He might say, huh? He might say, move the shit to the left two bars. Turn it down and put a double on it. Wait, move it and do what? Boom, boom. Yeah. All the time you think yeah. like next bar on your head, like I got the next bar on me. I'm trying to hurry and lay it down after you do it. Try to get three, this three out. Steps. Yeah, like so it's like, <laughs> boom, like it's just. And you don't gotta, you don't gotta pay nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta, you can do it yourself. You don't gotta wait on nobody to be on their timing. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You, you on your own timing. Mm. You can record, wake up. You ain't gotta be dressed. You just go in there. You ain't gotta fucking brush your teeth. Nigga. You just go in the studio. 
I ain't saying that I do this, but there's been days I did it. But yeah, but I'm saying if you want to, if you really trying to cook up, you in that zone, you in that mode. Lock in mode, Fuck man. everything. You just Chase go in there and dream. record. Turn your computer on, record yourself. You feel me? It's like, uh, uh. you don't got to call me. Where you at, man? I can't start it up like this and that. Like, do it yourself. Oh. So, the only reason I know this shit is because when I grew up, I couldn't even, I couldn't afford to pay nobody. So, mm. I had to learn how to use this shit. You feel mm. me? Or else I wouldn't handle songs. Yeah. Because, first of all, niggas not, ain't you no know, really engineers. In my city, like Tupelo, Mississippi, that's Mississippi, not really a career yeah, path yeah, yeah, in that yeah. city. So it's like, the way you gonna teach yourself, uh, shit, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's that hustle in you. Facts. Know we gonna make a way. By any means. You know what I'm saying? Who's an artist that you could, you know, that you've never done a collaboration with that you see yourself doing, that you, you know, would wanna do one with? Probably Mulatto or something. Mulatto got that talk. Mulatto. Yeah, like, Probably like Harry Styles or something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Harry Styles, I feel like we're coming with some crazy. Yeah. Some some loud, some big for the world, some powerful. That's dope. Yeah, that's that feeling right there. Man. Yeah. So we know you the young rock star. You get what I'm saying? What's your favorite song that you like to perform? <laughs> My favorite song I like to perform? I know right now, it's that lean's gone cold and that shit ain't even out. It's not even that's out. Not so bad at all. It's not out yet. My lean's gone cold or what? Like, they don't even know that motherfucker right now. They, oh, they, they, before, they turned up though. Yeah, they turned. Love, love, love. It's time I take a shot with my brother. Mm. Let's pull it up. Ah, oh, let's toast up, my brother. Let's toast up to the frequency. Best barrels in Mexico. Oof. Cheers. Love, love, love. Love. Mm. Okay, okay. Live it on the rocks. Cup yeah, the ice got it. It's gotta be on the rock. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I know your, your your concerts be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've I've seen them at eleven. Oh yeah. What's the craziest thing you heard from a fan or a fan done or you know while you was performing? Hmm. Somebody like they be throwing all type of shit on the stage. Like somebody threw their wig before. Like I don't know if it's like the actual wig. Like we throwing bras, panties, like wigs and shit. But that took their hair off and threw it on the stage. Man, wigs like. <laughs> Wigged out. <laughs> That's wigged out. <laughs> so, how would you describe one of them type of nights? A blur. A blur. <laughs> a blur. I can't see nothing. <laughs> nah, but I say action pack. Like just action pack. Mm, action, action pack. pack. Action pack. <laughs> that already sound like cinematic. Mm. That's a movie Shrimp right there. Life. <laughs> Ooh. Shrimp life. Yeah. Let's toast really up to that. Hold on, hold on. Shrimp life. And shrimp life falling away, man. Ooh, it's on the way. way. For the summer, you know Ooh, what I'm saying? Stay shit tuned. Up. I'm definitely inspired. So, My brother, been inspiring. God. Keep on inspiring, King. Let's toast up to the frequency. My God. Now you see me. Now you, now you don't. Man. Love, love, love. I see you got the new the new record out, Torpedo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. We just dropped two. Just to lead into the album, Torpedo. You know what I'm saying? We Say sending them off. We hitting the targets. Then we got Sucker Some. Produced by my boy, my boy Jack. Mm. Torpedo produced by Sony Digital, like big vibes, like yeah. just to get folks ready Sony for the Digital, album. Yep, yep. That's my guy, like. Yeah. Love Sony Digital Beats. Like, I grew up listening to Sony Digital, like. Utmost respect. Like he wanted them. Yeah, like, definitely wanted them. All our albums, like. Before we dropped like Shrimp Life 1, 2, and 3, like we cooked up songs until the very last day to turn it in because you mm. never know what you're going to make. Yeah. So it's like, just like Black Beatles. Black Beatles was the last song on uh, Shrimp Life 2. What? So it's like, you, we don't stop cooking up until it's time to turn it in. So we having all our people come through, you know what I'm saying? So he in Atlanta anyway. Yeah, yeah. So he's he right down the street. Eight minutes, pulled up, skirt. He was playing beats. Like, okay, rocking it. We making a folder, you know what I'm saying? We always do that, like, because we don't, they be feeling a hundred different ways. So yeah. like, Need a lot of beats, like boom. So gang playing beats. He played that beat. I was like, that's how I was feeling at that moment. I was like, so that shit matched my energy. I'm like, man, just give me this one gang. I'm finna just go in the room. Mm. So I just took that beat right there. I went in the room, taking off of that cash like to a pedo. Oh. <laughs> and your pockets too tight, just like a speedo. Oh. But that shit reminded me of some rock and roll shit. Yep, yep. Cause that beat, it was like, it was like. Boy, it made you want to head, head bang, like yeah. jump on, the, jump in a mosh pit. I was like, this is the type of shit I'm looking for. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, say, say, go no further. Like, just give me this. I'm gonna knock it. Out, I'm gonna bring it back. Bring back something crazy. Yeah. So we came with torpedo. We shot the video like next week. 
put it out, you know what I'm saying? All my bros from Mississippi, they came out, my whole gang. Dope, dope, dope. We just rode around the city in the, in the forest, brought the Porsches out, Mike Will brought the cars out. Mm. Movie. We're done, movie. <laughs> Torpedo, out right now. They gotta go watch that. If you ain't seen that already, go watch the Torpedo video. Mike, you can tell him. Don't tell him. Shrimp four on the way, man. <laughs> Uh oh, he said it. He said it. Shrimp on the way. Shrimp is on the way. Tell you. Love, love, love. Oh, man. So, you know, uh, we both fathers. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. And, you know, I know you just had your little, I had mine, mm -hmm. you know. In what ways has fatherhood impact your career, you know, as an artist? You know, when I first had him, it was like, it was like a learning experience. Like, mm. it really didn't change. And I know it's like it made me go harder. If anything, because mm. I know I gotta, I got some mouths to feed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it motivated me a little bit. Every time I look at him, I'm like, damn, like I can't wait to, I can't wait for the little nigga to be running around and shit, like be in the <laughs> studio, like yeah. listening to the music and shit, like you oh, know what I'm saying? Man. But it's cool, like just find a balance. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, know you gotta do it for somebody else now. Like it's not even you you doing it for now. Yeah. And I was gonna do it to the max for myself. So now I gotta do it for a little mini version of me. So it's like. I gotta do it times ten, like times ten times thousand, like even mm. harder than what I was going. So it's like, yeah, I want, I want the world for him. Me too, for real. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, he had to, yeah, 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 yeah. My little man. You know, they gotta grow up and do something great together. Yeah, nah, you know they. <laughs> they gonna be singing melodies yeah, on. They gonna be the manager or something. Like who know how this shit gonna play out? But <laughs> for sure, I'm definitely gonna pave the way for the little, for the little ones. You know what I'm saying? Dope, 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 That's dope, dope, dope. So love it, my brother. So <laughs> so how's it been since you moved to Miami, you know? Oh and, Miami, man. Tax free living. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Uh -oh, tropical, uh -oh. real tropical. Dropping them gems. I hope you're catching them. Tax free <laughs> living. That's the biggest part. Like, <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie, I used to live in LA, so that's one of my biggest reasons for moving out here. I didn't come out here just to party and Cause the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. You can get caught up in it though. <laughs> no, 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 for real though. I came out, man, it's the whole lifestyle of Miami, like. It just matched me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to turn down. I ain't trying to slow down. You know what I'm saying? I want to walk outside. I want to see sunlight. Yep. yep. I want to be able to walk on my balcony and just, you know what I'm saying? Sun hitting a nigga's skin. Like, mm. I don't want to mm. feel depressed when I go outside. Shivering and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Layered. I don't, that ain't me. Like, I like to feel like I'm on vacation. Like, life is good. I like sunny Sway shit. Vacation. You know what I'm saying? Permanent vacation. Like, <laughs> I like that type of vibe. So, you know what I'm saying? You go outside, you see the water. Mm. I see fucking dolphins in the water and fucking manatees. Like, mm. I love this shit. Like, I'm on the boats. Like, you can live on a boat if you want to. Yeah. Like, yep. Yep. Why would I even go anywhere else? Like, I did everything else. Like, I lived in seasonal weather. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That seasonal weather ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see no snow. At unless all. I choose to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a good vibe out here and it's tax free. So you're saving money. It's like, mm -hmm. you're just winning 360. Like, yeah. I still got my spot in LA, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you ask where I'd rather be, it's like, Definitely a 305 in the yams, yeah, Sky yeah. M. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> match a nigga lifestyle. Like, it's the frequency out here, come baby. Come on, man. <laughs> love, love, and I love. I feel like even the whole industry is like moving out here. Like mm -hmm. all my all my niggas in the industry, they live out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we all made the same move. We on the same type of time. Yeah, yeah. No, no, hold up. Uh, only person we gotta get now, we gotta get Mike Will out here, man. Next, yeah, Mike. Man. Hold on, we got Mike in the <laughs> building. It's only right. Can we do a toast together, Mike? <laughs> hold on, toast up to Mike. Oh, one dang, of those ones. Man, great. Mike Will made it. We locked in. <laughs> mm. ah, definitely a legend right there, Mike. Well, man. Yeah, seriously. As we speak about legends, how do you want to be remembered in the game? I just want to be remembered definitely, definitely like being positive. Like mm. life mm. is negative, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. try to. We already know life is negative. So yeah. I want to have people focus on positive shit and be feeling good about themselves, feeling good about life. Yeah. Knowing that even if it is bad, shit, shit can change tomorrow. Shit can change tomorrow. Be good and be, you know what I'm saying, yeah. happily yeah. ever after. So I just want people to know, like, I really do, like, passionate about this shit. Like, just be explosive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself unapologetically. Mm. And just yeah, I want I want to have like good music. I want the music that I live me, which mm. it already is. Mm. Like shit, like Sunflower, Unforgettable, like Black Sunflower. Beatles. That shit gonna outlive me, and I already know that. But it's like one day everything, all the dots gonna connect. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like they really gonna understand like the movement I'm trying to put together. Like 
which is already together, but the the whole aesthetic, like it's like a whole feeling, like a whole lifestyle, like being positive and just believing shit, believing in yourself. Like, mm. yeah, it's like, I just want people to remember like, shit is possible, like type yeah, shit. Shit is possible. Yeah. The world is what you make it, like type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. The world is what you make it. The world is what you make it. Like. I ain't it's literally lie. yours. Like, for sure. I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's a dope way to end out. So now we going into the next segment. Mm -hmm. Would you rather? This segment is, you know, where we give two different scenarios and you have to choose one. Mm -hmm. it, it can range from anywhere. You know how the frequency get. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it can range from anywhere. Yeah. So now we just get started. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be the only one drunk at a party or the only one sober? Mm. Like how drunk we talking about? I mean, I'm talking. You talking about like damn near blacked out I'm drunk or like just like. Saucy drunk, like I'm talking about drunk, like, like you know when you're not, you know when you're you nice, like, and you know when you're drunk. You trying doing the yeah? Oh <laughs> shit! I so you know, you're yeah, the only, the only like nigga. That. That. Oh no, they be like this nigga is loose, <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> bumping into people and shit, knocking shit over, like nah, nah. I'd rather be the only person sober, so then I can really. But that should be crazy too. You'd be looking around, like yeah, they be standing apart like this. <laughs> You, would you rather have no baths for a month or no internet for a month? You said no baths? No baths or no internet for a month. For a month? For a month. I don't care how clean you is. If you don't take a bath for a month. Or no internet. You're going to be smelling like shit. Like, no internet for sure. Nah, a month is a long time. <laughs> You're going to be with your girlfriend. You're going to be playing basketball. Yeah, yeah. A month, a month yeah, is, yeah, no, definitely no Wi Fi. I can deal with no Wi Fi because then when you pop back out after having no Wi Fi after a month, you're glowing. You different. pop back out with the Wi Fi, <laughs> you, you, go, you gonna be shined up real nicely, like you know what I'm saying. Would you rather be able to whisper, only able to whisper, or only able to shout? I'd rather only be able to whisper. Mm. But I fuck around and get me like a megaphone or something like. <laughs> but 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 the megaphone, it, they still not gonna hear you because you can only whisper. They ain't it's gonna, gonna be loud though. Nah, nah. <laughs> Through the megaphone, they try to pull out the cheat code. <laughs> if you just sit nigga's face and screaming and everything, so if you run around shouting like you can't even keep your shit low key. Like you can't even talk to your homie in the club. Like I ain't get the. Hey, get the car, that's yeah. all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> they gonna know everything you talking about. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can't even be smooth. Yeah. You can't even be low key or nothing. Yeah. So I'd rather just be able to whisper. Nah, whisper is it? Whisper is it? <laughs> oh. So, so. Would you rather have your parents see your sex tape or watch your parents' sex tape? <laughs> Damn. The frequency starting to elevate. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather, yeah, have them watch mine or something. Yeah. They'd be like, I'm proud of that little nigga. <laughs> I'm proud of him. <laughs> I'm proud. That's my son. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is where the frequency start to elevate. <laughs> what would you rather, oral sex with someone with a, a mouth full of hot sauce <clears throat> or by someone who uses their teeth? Damn. I feel like the hot sauce ain't really going to burn a nigga. Like, I don't you know what that hot something. sauce might do. I don't think it really do nothing unless it's yeah. like you got a cut on your shit or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, You ain't got to yeah. cut you good, so that shit ain't really going to do nothing. It's like, Long yeah. you got that gawk out, you know what I'm saying? Long as you got that sloppy, like, if, if, if you do with the hot sauce, make it a right. little more sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With them teeth. Uh-huh. That shit, man. Nah, that hurt. <clears throat> that hurt. Yeah, like. That's, that's something. I can't even enjoy myself, like, with that going on. So it looks like it's a hot sauce hot option. Sauce, hot sauce, me. <laughs> oh God. Hot sauce Tabasco option. Tabasco me. <laughs> would, would you rather sleep with someone who has terrible body odor or who has never brushed their teeth? So if I sleep with the person with the bad body odor, the odor coming from somewhere else? No, no. Um, If she just got bad body odor, that just sound like... Yeah, where the odor coming from? Yeah, it's, it's not washing. Like everywhere? Everywhere. Once it's bad, you don't know where it's going to pop up next. In that case, I'd rather do the bad breath and the just not, breath. not kiss her. Oh, oh yeah. If she got the bad breath and everything else, cool. I wouldn't kiss her no way. Mm, mm, so, mm. 
After that, yeah, yeah. But she got the bad body odor everywhere else. One thing about Sway, he know how to pull that cheat code out. <laughs> he said, bad breath, no kissing. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? He know how to bring that I'm cheat just swear code that shit. I might lock up in the neck like this. Right? Her head gonna be right up. <laughs> so would you rather marry the person of your dreams or have the career of your dreams? Damn. I don't know if I'm ready for marriage yet, so I'm gonna just say the career of my mm, dreams. Mm, mm, mm. And then, but that might fuck you up trying to find a woman of your dreams. Yeah. Cause you're gonna be so turned up. It's either, it's either all. Yeah, so you're not gonna find the right woman. <laughs> like, damn. It's a tough one. Is it, is it a shot? Fuck, Hold on. Oh, yeah, let me take a shot. Take a shot to that one. Hold on. Welcome trying to, to find the frequency. A woman of my dreams. <laughs> mm. Definitely, I say the career, yeah, because the then. Career. Shit, might even fuck around, find a woman piped up like me and, and her, like having the same career as me. And I might not even know she was a woman of my dreams. And yeah. I just found out she was a woman of my dreams. Yeah, yeah. That way, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Would you rather fulfill your greatest wish or resolve your biggest problem or your biggest regret? Damn. I had to go with my greatest wish because then, shit, that's going to fix my problems. Mm -hmm. My greatest wish. Mm. It's mm. so big, like mm. any problem that I'm having, I'll be able to solve it because my wishes come true, which is going to equal currency. Mm. Mm. Money solve every problem down there. Mm -hmm. For real. Mm -hmm. We are live in the frequency right now, my brother. The Let's highest win. frequency, man. Sure, like. Love, love, love. Mm. So definitely want to say appreciate you for coming out, my brother. Man, you know how to slide on my guy, for real. I'm about to go to the club now, oh, my I'm coming my with My boy you. got me lit, man. I'm going to go to the club, man. Come on. My boy, boy, the Never frequency. Late, man. Love, Tap love, in. love. Shrimp life. Welcome I'm to the frequency. Way. We here on the checkout, my brother, yeah. Sway Lee. Best to ever do it. Now you see him, now, now you, you don't. don't. Welcome to the frequency. <laughs> love, love, love. Yes, yeah, sir, ski. <laughs> Can we get another glass of um, De Leon, Reposado? Love, love, love. <laughs>